Hey everybody, it's Monica and I want to introduce you to someone who I am so excited to introduce you to. Kia Reeves is the very first instructor um, at Farm University. And you, you might think, okay, well, when Kia is gonna be talking about grants. So Kia is not a farmer. However, she is <laughs> someone who can help farmers understand how to identify what a grant is asking for and understand how to approach the grant process from that point of view and also kind of like, you know, understand how to manage it on the back end because there's things that you're going to be required to do on the back end if you receive a grant. So um, I'm excited to introduce you to her because we are we are fellow notaries public. So we met as, as a notary on the notary platform that I have. And once I realized how smart she was and how much she knew about everything, I said, girl, you need to come over and teach us farmers about these grants, child. So y'all welcome Kia. Kia, thank you so much for doing this. How are you today? All is well. I can't complain. It's a beautiful day. I'm blessed to be alive. Yes. So tell us a little bit about you and, and your background and all of that good stuff. All right. So, um, of course, I'm Kia Reeves. I'm an administrative officer for Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Um, just school-wise, I have an economics degree from Spelman College, and I have an MBA from Trebekah Nazarene University, and then I'm also a certified research administrator. So I started out at Vanderbilt, I was, I was actually temping, and when I was hired on permanently, I was, um, I was hired on as a budget accounting analyst, and I went from there into the role of grants manager, and then from there into the role of administrative officer for research. So I do pre and post award, which basically means pre is everything that happens before the grant is funded and post is everything that happens once the grant or after the grant has been funded, if that kind of helps you out some. Mm -hmm. And so I've been at Vanderbilt, gosh, for about 18 years. Wow. And so I have a lot of experience in that area. Nice. Spelman College? What? I, did. I, did. I didn't know that. What? <laughs> Rebecca, what? Okay, see, I see Kia and I. Kia has been one of the the most consistent notaries on this other platform I keep referring to. It's called Notary Nerd University, right? And every Saturday, or actually, that doesn't have anything to do with what I'm about to tell you. We had this book club, and every Saturday morning, we were reading this book by this professor close and his the attorney person. And Kia would be on the call, and she would be reading the book, and I would be reading <laughs> the book. And because of Kia, I, I mean, I already knew. We're already connected because of the whole nerd thing going on. But Kia- You calling me a nerd? Yes, I'm calling you a nerd. <laughs> you, better, you better wear your nerd badge and have it, okay? <laughs> I'm a nerd too. So we're gonna both be nerds together, okay? Um, but yeah, I just knew that she was somebody that I could, you know, iron sharpens iron. And I knew how smart she was because this book that we were reading was not an easy read. It was like a law professor teaching book. So, um, but anyway, nuts and bolts of the grant program. Talk to us about what your course is kind of starting to shape up and look like. Well, first, and I'm pulling up my outline here. First, I'm gonna go over with you guys. Um, I'm gonna find some websites uh, where you guys can look to find grant applications or proposals that are geared towards farmers, all right? right. And then from there, I'm gonna kind of explain some terms to you that may not seem, that are just not common knowledge. Okay, and, and the reason I know those terms is because I work in the grants field and we have abbreviations for everything. Mm -hmm. All right. And I think once you understand those terms, it'll probably help you in applying for the proposal. Okay. Nice. Then from there, um, I just kind of want to break down um, the key components of a grant application. Again, some of those components differ based on who the funder is and what they actually want. Um, some of the funders require you to do a letter of intent, and we'll go into this in detail um, in the class, but a letter of intent you have to submit early. You have to submit before you actually apply for the grant. So you want to make sure you want to, yes, you want to look at the announcement and see if they require a letter of intent. Okay. A letter of intent is simply just something that gives them a synopsis of what you plan to do with the money. And sometimes they ask you for a preliminary budget. Again. Okay. And one thing also, it's very important to read over the program announcement in its entirety. Make sure you understand what they're asking for, what the funder wants. Right. Because they review usually so many applications, I don't wanna say they're looking for reasons, but sometimes they're looking for reasons to not have to review that application. So if you miss anything, it'll give them a reason to throw your application out because yeah. they have so many to review. So it, yeah. just, it just makes sense. Right, okay. exactly. 
You want to make sure it's, uh, that you understand what they're asking for. And sometimes you can call the sponsor. We've had to do that. Call the sponsor and say, uh, uh, can you give us some guidance here? Oh, We've had to do that. Okay. Because but some of these program announcements, um, they're like special program announcements, which means they're not on a cycle. They don't come out every year. Okay. And so they may, they may have a special pot of money that they want to give out. And so the instructions don't always come. They're not always clear because they're trying to hurry up and get out the instructions so that people can apply for the money. Right. Wow. Kind of like the stimulus money that came out, like um, when Obama was president, he, um, there were some stimulus packages that he um, introduced to the research world because a lot of our, a lot of the PIs at our institution and the PI is nothing more than a principal investigator. You know, I was going to ask. <laughs> program director, okay. the one who's going to be over the research. Okay. Okay. And so we applied for a lot of those grants. I think we had like 17 or 18 applications, but these were just quick um, one-time grant applications where they, they were giving out money to stimulate the economy and to assist in research. Right. So again, read through the instructions right. to make sure you understand what they're actually asking you. And if you have questions, there's usually um, contact information in the program announcement. Right. You can always ask. Love that. So the other piece that you guys yes. don't know is that Kia is going to take um, a grant, a proposal that's kind of out there right now. And we're going to use that as kind of a case study, right? To kind of walk through. Um, and it's one that's really cool. It's for beginning farmers. So that's, that's what I'm excited about. And I didn't, I hadn't even seen it. And I called myself being up on stuff and she sent it to me. I was like, I'm so happy that we crossed paths. I'm so, I'm so grateful for you. Um, people ask me a lot of times, like, are you going to have to have money to put with the grant? You know how they talk about like the grant matching funds and stuff like that. Um, does it always have to be cash? Oh, well, sometimes you can partner with people from my understanding okay. and match funds that way. Okay. Um, in kind is not always money. Got you. Okay. Okay. So in kind could be somebody giving you equipment to do your research. That's a, a donation. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm already learning stuff. So, and I'll, okay. I'll go into that a little bit more in detail. Cause again, we don't deal with those types of grants, but I have seen that before. Okay. Nice. Well, you guys, I'm not going to keep Kia too long. She has given me some time on this Sunday afternoon just to chit chat with her so that I could introduce her to you guys. Um, I am looking forward to the class. I know we talked March 18th and 19th, but I think I, I might want to get back with you on that and we'll get the dates, um, ironed out and finalized and out to everybody. But you guys don't want to miss this. This is going to be one of many classes that, that are designed to help you get your farm business up off the ground. Um, and so I'm super excited for you to uh, take part in it. And Kia, thank you again for your time. I greatly appreciate it. And we'll talk with you soon. Take care. All right. Thank you.